What's up, citizens? Welcome to another episode of an Avionics Technician's Guide. My professional experience between the MV-22 Osprey and now the 737 at the Boeing Company has made me enjoy analyzing ships within the verse. For my new viewers, I am Sear6. I create content that is more than just stating facts. It's to help people figure out what role they want to play and if the ship in question really fits the niche they desire. Feedback is always appreciated, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new to this series, and tell me what ship you would like to see next. Now, without further chatter, let us analyze the ship in full detail, the Mustang Delta, a low-cost fighter variant of the Mustang family. Today, we'll start off with our normal pre-flight walk around, examining the weapons package and exterior of the ship, reviewing the flight deck, analyzing flight performance, and wrapping up the video with tactics. Let's begin. The Delta is a player's first steps into the dogfighting realm, giving you just a tease of what you can do with a fighter-dedicated ship, and later down the road, you can pack up the ship and turn into something more lethal, or keep it for a different role. We shall find the answer through logic and analysis. Let's take a closer look and discuss the ship as we start our pre-flight walk around. I'll see you on the ground. Starting off our walk around, we have the engine intakes that assist with hydrogen fuel regeneration. I love how they have the added warning labels that you would see on a standard fighter. To the nose of the ship, we have our main hard point a gibbled turret that holds two size 2 weapons. Currently, the turret itself cannot be removed, but the weapons can. Just under the nose, we have the nose landing gear. That is a wheel, not a skid. And if you look closely, you can see the landing lights on the strut itself. On either sides, we have the wings folded up like a carrier-style fighter. And with that, brings us to the two sets of hardpoints under the wing. The Mustang Delta comes with fixed size 2 guns on both sides of the wing, and two fixed unguided rocket pods that are also currently unequipable. Each pod is equipped with 18 rockets for a total of 36 munitions. Each rocket does 250 physical DPS each for a grand total of 500 DPS per rocket launch. Under the ship we have the main landing gear attached to the shock strut that allows the ship to have some cushion when landing. To the back we have our engines and the set of horizontal stabilizers and on them, if you look very closely, you can see the flight control surfaces. On the aft stabilizers, we have the elevators, and on the wings, we have the ailerons. Now in atmosphere, elevators allow the ship to pitch up and down, changing your angle of attack, and the ailerons allow you to roll. Now with our walk around complete, let us take a look at the flight deck itself. The first thing I'd like to point out is the clear view you have when in the seat. It reminds me of most modern day jet fighters. They usually have maximum visibility. Under the display console to the right you have the button to cycle engine power. To the middle you have the cycle ship power and the go flight ready button. And to the left you have the option to lock, unlock, open, and close the exterior. And at your crotch you have your standard ejection seat. Once the console is energized you have four MFDs and a radar screen in the middle. MFDs are multifunctional flight displays. I like how the displays are on one giant screen. Now with our flight deck analysis complete, let's take her for a spin. I'll see you in the air. The ship feels smooth when flying and I'm sure with 3.5 the ship won't suffer as much due to the aerodynamic characteristics it possesses. It has a decent acceleration overall but a very poor hydrogen fuel burn rate. About one unit of fuel is depleted for every three seconds of boost used. The ship's quantum jump drive range and fuel is low due to the fact that it's a light fighter, but it may be able to fit in a carrier due to the size. Now let's discuss some tactics. With the analysis we just went through, I would never even classify this ship as a fighter. I personally classify this as a light attack aircraft like the Douglas A-1 Skyraider. Now why you may ask? Well because the Delta has no missiles. 
Even the Aurora LN has missiles, making the engagement range bigger than of the Deltas, putting more distance between hostiles. Your burst DPS is only 1,553, and sustained will only equate to 820 DPS. The overall tank is 8,952 from shields and HP combined, and a well-placed shot to the wing or engine will render you useless, so the Delta cannot fight a ship above its weight class due to the fact that you cannot step up the heart points to a higher size. Now if you decide to up your game and invest in a pricier fighter, then you could definitely use this for close air support. It could be a low cost solution instead of bringing out a gladiator or the harbinger in the future, so why not use this to your advantage? Since you are limited to two size 2 weapons and the nose gun will always be gibbled unless you change the settings in your game to make it fixed, you can then use the gimbled weapon by free looking and you can fire in the direction you are looking to at least take out ground troops. You can also strafe targets with your rocket pods. Your maximum speed is 1225 meters a second. So if you can manage not to bleed off too much energy, you can be gone before most ships can catch up to you. Also, it is important to note that all Cyclone variants and the Ursa rover have less than 3000 tank between their shields and HP making your rockets a prime weapon for ground vehicles. But if you want to use the ship as a light fighter, I would personally go for the lasers and get in close with any ship that has large weak spots. The only issue is that you will have a hard time soloing another fighter that is above an Aurora. You will need to do hit and runs. However, using a fighter in the fleet could help increase your survivability overall. But as usual, it's your tactics and your decisions overall so use the ship as you please. As always, I personally thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my content. It means a lot. And again, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and please share it with everybody else so they can make a decision on their role playing style. And feel free to subscribe for more content if you are new. But with that being said, I will see you on the flip side.